Yum 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 yummer. He tiny little dot. Furiously eloquent, not as bad as Frankenstein, Gordon Ramsay, The Shade. Hello, 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 hello. Take a super elite at the end of this act, maybe? Let's try upgrading Zap. I haven't done this for a long time. Any special plans for 50 wins? Thinking about playing a run and trying to get to 51. After I get to 50. My goal is 100 wins total. Hey, Barash. Sorry if I'm missing Heidi as you come in, everyone. But I hope that you are having a great day. Could I get maybe one more damage card? Yeah, I actually like wanted a fight there. Wonder time thanks for two months. Longbomo show to you too. I guess I'll take a self-repair and my damage is cold snap. I'm not sure that deals damage. It is upgraded. It's upgraded Cold Snap. If I don't get a damage card here, I'm going to have to upgrade a Strike. Like... All right, we'll count it, but only on a technicality. <laughs> I can upgrade that instead of strike and feel slightly better about my life. This will be 34, 16, puts it at 18. So we're definitely going to be short next turn. But if I zap, it doesn't actually help, because I don't get to dual cast the lightning orb anymore. So, yeah. I guess we just take damage again next turn. Can just go strike, strike. Probably should. Is Claw a damage card? Not sure about that one. Try that. Mr. Slime. Equilibrium might be an okay card here, but we really need some damage. Draw? Probably not. I guess we can rest as long as we don't die in this fight. The slime cook? The French is rusty.
How much harder would Ascension 20 be if you couldn't see who the boss was? Uh, definitely a bit harder. Win rates would certainly go down from that. So it's either Lagavulin or Sentries. <laughs> Gopher Eyes doesn't do much against Sentries. It's okay against Lagavulin, but Lagavulin should be fine. I don't think there's any Lagavulin super elite upgrade that kills us. I can I take into upgrade Melter just for more damage? Tempest a damage card? No, not in particular. I'll upgrade it with this potion, or maybe. Um, if this seems really easy, maybe I'll upgrade it at the campfire before slime boss. We'll see. damage next turn. If I upgrade this, it's 14.23. Why did they remove the potion debuff ascension? Oh, uh, I think it was just confusing for people. I know what you're talking about. I think it was just confusing for people. Potions all of a sudden started doing something different. Probably hard to balance as well. Unfortunately, I'm reshuffling without some cards here. Ooh, I reshuffled without Melter. I didn't actually know that it went in that order. Oh well. Yeah, a lot of the new potions, like, it's unclear how you make Smoke Bomb worse, right? At least it is not immediately clear to me. Fifty percent chance to escape? Oh no. Please don't do that. Incense burner and a seek. Can I seek for the incense burner? There aren't any cards to seek for. I probably take it, but like, really don't have any cards to seek for here. Hey, JSE. Yeah. Very welcome. I'm glad I could help. Can I kill this turn? I think I cannot. The way I would is I would seek for strike right now so that an ink bottle drew me a card and it could be melter. Or dual cast. Sure, that does it. Hmm, not in this world though. I tried to do it and failed. So... I could Gambler's Brew to put Incense Burner on the right number. <laughs> Seems a little bit, a little bit extreme. Am I able to wait long enough? I think it goes to two. How would I ever channel that Lightning Orb to stop it from killing this um, Louse? 
It's a puzzle. I don't see how I'd do it. This is the last fight, right? Yeah. Seems difficult. I guess we just wait as long as possible. So do you think so? 34 months? Monk Bomo show to you too. Watcher still isn't available for console. Uh, Watcher is available on console as of like this morning or whatever. I don't like colorless cards as much as other streamers, don't I? I mean, I don't watch other streamers, don't know. Chaos? for a dark orb. Feels pretty good. Maybe I should have put incense burner on zero so that I could tank two slams. Just to give myself as good a chance as possible of setting up. Do I want the nine damage? I guess so. Could seek for dual cast now and take a pretty good split. I think I'll just be content with waiting for it. And we have Gambler's Brew if we need it, but hopefully we don't. Sense burner on five. Is it worth this health? It's uh, like one or two health next act to advance it a number. I don't think it is. Last cog is great. I do have a self repair and an incense burner. I think I can take coffee dripper probably. Plus the other relics like have incredibly significant downsides. Hey Casey. Horn. I feel silly because I put incense burner on four instead of five. 
and then got attacked for a lot on the first turn of Act 2. But on the other hand, <laughs> Incense Burner would literally do nothing here, so yeah, I guess it's okay. Defect so well. I have a couple of hours of practice at a uh, conservative guess. Improv Panda, thanks for the eight months. Uncle Mo show to you too. Need a name for your Eldritch Cult based. In 1920s New York. Uh, I've never personally been to 1920s New York. I don't actually know that much about it. I read The Great Gatsby. Is that set in New York? I don't remember where that's actually set. I should take barrage so I can ever kill anything. It's not too late for genetic algorithm. It's a little bit spooky with Coffee Dripper taking a card that makes us weaker for a while. This is just a doom and gloom. All of a sudden we have damage. next turn. And then, like, dead the turn after, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Looks like I'm about to take a lot of damage next turn if they attack me. in that Watcher. I don't think anybody's ever seen Watcher die. That doesn't seem right. Cool. Yeah, we needed, like, not to get attacked by both of them. Instead of getting attacked by both of them, it would have been better. Cost the potion, but we almost have full health leaving that fight, so maybe we're all right. Do I want to take Storm? I wonder. It just feels like we're so lacking in damage. I could also just take a Sweeping Beam. 
champ fight. I think I might just take a sweeping beam. Hey, virus. Permi, hello. Hey, turtle. Generally, Clockwork Souvenir is very good, and especially when you have a biased cog. Anchor is also generally very good. Maybe those two plus potions. Maybe a card remove. I guess I only got... well, it's always these two. I only got one potion I can't afford a card remove. I think because of our orbs, we like an attack potion over a fire potion. It's a little bit less consistent, but it has the ability to channel a dark orb where a fire potion doesn't. Goals. I could use a Volt. Why doesn't Defect get one of those? Poor robot. Is it meant to slow that down a little bit? Maybe it was meant to slow that down a little bit. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have to take a claw. Keeps on getting offered to me. <laughs> Keep keep on thinking like maybe not. The whole coffee dripper thing's a little bit spooky for uh trying to kill elites. I like my turn one. Everything's weak and I have ten block. Helps a bit. Defect. Hey, the week. Glad you enjoyed those. Welcome, welcome. Just one really bad turn next turn, and then we get intangible and then we kill. But next turn is pretty bad, and this turn's not that great either.
Okay. Now intangible, and then kill. Our way to turn. chest has arrived. I clicked on it without thinking. I maybe shouldn't have. Could go this way and get a relic before champ. It's just like it's better to fight the elites, I think. Seems like it would be better to fight the elites. Have two pretty decent potions for elite killing at this point. I changed my streaming schedule recently. My streaming schedule. Hmm. It's a very romantic notion. attempt to explain my schedule in the discord if you want but uh my schedule is somewhat erratic especially when i'm trying to stream uh more than 200 hours in a month just sort of stream when i can stream Chaos Dual Cast would kill immediately. I think it's better to kill next turn, though. I don't see why we have to kill this turn. Can we wait one more? How would we do that? It goes to 8 with 11 shield, so I'd need to guarantee 19 damage next turn. Yeah, I can guarantee that much damage next turn. So I can just, uh, let's see, end turn, I think. Our wolf fix the 16 months. Like Bomo will show to you as well. <laughs> Don't think I need a boot sequence in this stock. Hey, hey, filthy, thanks for the raid. Welcome in, filthy robot viewers. Filthy's a good friend of mine, streams strategy games at filthyrobot.com. Has been checking out a bunch of different games recently. And I recommend you check out his channel. And I am Jorbs, and I am streaming a lot of Slay the Spire and slowly going insane. Welcome to uh, that. Yeah, welcome to that. <laughs> slowly, yeah. Rapidly, maybe? <laughs> Calipers would be good here. So the difference between these two paths is I'm turning a question mark into an elite by going right, basically. Something like that. So 
a reason I waited a turn. I have two stacking relics, Ink Bottle and Incense Burner, and they carry their stacks over to the next fight. So I want to leave them in positions to go off at the times I care about in the next fight. As I end this fight. Would have been better if Incense Burner was on 5 so that I had block this turn, for example. But it isn't, and I don't. I have 27 blocks, so I'm taking 20. I think I'm okay with that. Ooh, nice roll in the lightning orb. All right, we're just leaving the fight with full health then. That's uh, super good. Do you want to try to play genetic algorithm before the end of the fight? relics I have. Uh, they're on the screen. I just look at it. <laughs> I understand the struggle. I don't always remember, but uh, generally, generally they are on the screen and I just look at it. It's not like the most sophisticated strategic maneuvering ever. I wait two more turns. Maybe. If the lightning orb doesn't kill Gremlin later too fast. 21 times 3. Uh. Hallway fight next. Damn it, lightning orb. Ooh. Take a multicast. We have a dark orb, right? Take a multicast to kill champ with. Just makes the fight super easy. The fight will be easy if we get bias cog down before our artifact charge gets used, but champ debuffs you sometimes, so we can't guarantee that we get bias cog with no, uh, no debuff attached to it in the champ fight. Don't think we want Bottled Flame. Actually, I have such a strong defensive turn one. Like, I could take a Sweeping Beam or something. Is it better to have that later? Like, maybe slightly better on turn two against Raptomancer than it is on turn one. Eh. I don't know. I'm not excited about putting a sweeping beam in my starting hand, but I'm not really excited about drawing it after my starting hand either. I'm not going to remove it. I think I'll skip. Flame the most skipped relic. I would guess that it is. But I'm not sure. I haven't actually like done a study or whatever. 
Yeah, doing a very good job of putting Bioscog in my starting hand every fight. Big fan of that right now. Big fan. Doesn't bottling and tap do the opposite of making you draw Bioscog faster? Well, if it's Sweeping Beam, not really, because Sweeping Beam does draw a card. I was not considering bottling, like, the other stuff. It was Sweeping Beam or Skip. Half HP for making the mage heal, like 20 or something. I uh, don't remember, and if I ever think it matters, I look it up to make sure I know the exact number. That was something like 20. skips tiny house they just choose something else yeah but sometimes it's a skip button <laughs> sorry tiny house I'm not sure that I've ever skipped tiny house but I totally would it's totally a thing I would do <laughs> uh... okay See, case in point. Intangible next turn. What even is a Jorbs? I think you're looking at it. It's terrifying, isn't it? I should have put the Dark Orb in front of the Frost Orb. Would have been slightly better. It has no downside. What about the mortgage payments? What if you want to move and your entire life is there? You know what I'm saying? The stack might be good right now. I don't want to like get ahead of myself here, but it might be pretty good. It's like reinforced body or not reinforced body there, basically. I don't think we need an all for one. All for one does not return X cost cards. Don't you dare debuff me, champ. Don't do it, champ. It's not worth it. That's <sighs> good.
Do Americans prefer amateur porn or professional porn? Well, when you take the citizenship test, or in the case of naturally born citizens, when you are born, um, you... <laughs> It varies from person to person, times are. I read that comment. You posted it in my chat. What did you think was going to happen? What do you think was going to happen? I think we wait for incense burner. Zero is not a good incense burner number. Seek. That would make me happy. This is either remove two strikes or inserter. I need to run to the bathroom. I'm going to do that. And then we'll come back and puzzle this out. Just a sec. Okay. So we have a deck that's good enough to win if we get Biased Cog down before our artifact charge is stolen. Which is the big reason why removing two strikes looks pretty good. We also have an oddly smooth stone and a calipers, so our like defends are pretty decent. Um the flip side of that is we only have six orb slots. Maybe Inserter could hook us up with a win, even in fights where Bias Cog doesn't get artifacted. But, eh, that doesn't feel right to me. I think we just remove two strikes. Why does, why does a joke about, like, having sex with a woman you barely know get timed out? Well, gee, let's break it down really, really slowly and in detail. It's like, like, sexist, insulting, and not funny, I guess? If I had to pick three things just to start? All right. That was a hugely mentally rewarding exercise for me to go through. Um, thanks for facilitating that Twitch chat. Fascinating idea, Wobbles. What a fascinating idea. Heatsink, Streamline, or Compile Driver?
the heat sink's any good here. I only have two powers, three powers. I have a seek. I think I'll take the compile driver. We're like a little bit short on card draw. Little bit short on card draw. What is it like being a high school student right now? Is everybody doing like classes from home sort of thing? Online classes. Is that like weird? I feel like it would be really weird. Two hours of work max. That's good. Yeah, I think like expecting students to put in like six to eight hours a day right now is pretty ridiculous. Hopefully that isn't happening to too many people. The school just canceled fourth quarter because they can't set it up. Hmm. <laughs> Just sit there and watch your professor struggle with Zoom. <laughs> uh. Kids in your area don't have to do anything so they can't guarantee everyone has access to their technology. Yeah, absolutely. Like, a lot of families don't have the ability to like have their kids like you know the parents might be working and need the computer to work from home and stuff like that that's just like a lot to expect the family to have set up at home you're being taught marching percussion over zoom oh my god that might be that might be like my new recurring nightmare that sounds so bad <laughs> It's fascinating. I'm glad that I'm not in that situation. Hi, Biased Cog. How you doing? Always win, thanks for two months. Hogbomo show to you as well. Blue cards indeed. And lots of them. I'm a little bit concerned about this fight right now. Mm. We do. I might end up like seeking for burns here. Probably want to kill this. 9, 13. Melter's strike or something. Melter's 15, strike is 9. 
So we have to do this as well. And then Melter Strike. Gosh, that was a lot. And I draw three burns next turn. At least I have... Uh, my orbs have things mostly under control at this point. Coupled with our Calcum. See why we can't take that. I'm a bit concerned about like Reptomancer type things at the moment. It's pretty hard for Dead Branch to kill you when you have a biased cog and a capacitor plus. Like, you're gonna go through your deck the first time, you're gonna make a bunch of orbs, then you're gonna win. That is the expected result here. It's 50 incoming. This would be 36 plus 3 is 39 plus. Eh. It's fine to take three there to save the Dark Orb, I think. Biased Cog. Tempest. Now it's 60 incoming. It's only 24 block. Or 24... Attack removal or whatever. Definitely play Cold Snap. Tempest is 8 every turn. This is 10 now, but it's weaker. Also, we can draw Genetic algorithm when we play a card, which is gross. Hmm. Bright of Cloud. Let's see how it goes, Bright of Cloud. Energy times two. This is one of those defect decks that can win, but feels like it's gonna feel pretty fair while it does, if it does. Um, that's my read on this current situation. Although we just picked up a dead branch, so maybe things have changed. I'm gonna take another Doom and Gloom and do this. Mm, don't weaken me, please. Bias Cog plus Artifact is fair. Like, that's all we do, though. 
We could have like defragments and shit. But we don't. We have a good turn one. We have a moderate to low amount of scaling. And we go from there. It's their relics that are winning. Relics are okay. None of them like make us six focus. One of them makes us too focused. Should kill next turn ish, roughly. Okay. Hey, Crenify. Very welcome. Incense burner is in the right place for Reptomancer fight. Actually, three might be better than four in this deck. I'm not sure. Four is, like, pretty safe, though. And I can buy potions. Let's, uh, keep trying things. Is this runic capacitor or mummified hand? No offensive potions, unfortunately. It's loop. Card remove and a relic, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's amplify. No, I'd rather just buy runic capacitor. I don't really have a power to amplify anyway, because I only want to play one bias cog. Mummified Hand's a bit faster, um, better against Reptomats or better against Act 4 Elites, and then Runic Capacitor is a little bit better in the boss fights. And it costs less, so I get like a block potion or something as well. Oh, 
Easy. No big deal. How much money do you make per hall if I... A little bit. I don't know the exact range. Some my frost orb loops. Links to Twitch Prime. Hogbomo show to you too. Yeah, live and dreams. Some sky blazer. It feels bad, alive in dreams. I'm sorry to hear that. I sort of want to play Zap and try to kill him next turn while Nemesis is intangible. Question card. I guess we're moving defense right now. Unless we want to get rid of dual cast, maybe, because we have calipers and Nadu Smooth Stone and a multicast already, which sort of is the better version of dual cast in this situation. I don't have an electrodynamics. I think with electrodynamics, dual cast is a lot better. Oh, I have Dead Branch. Interesting. Mario Team Rising for the seven months. Hogbomo show to you too. Appreciate it. 
Oops, stuff is treating you okay. next turn with uh this one incense burner set it to four successfully found myself a Reptomancer fight. Let's see if I can die. I don't know why I insisted so heavily on doing this. I guess because the deck still doesn't necessarily even beat Time Eater. It sort of makes sense. Yeah, sure. this fight. I guess I could have rebounded multicast there. Maybe that would have been good. Uh, I will kill you sometime next week. Just stay right there. Um, a little bit of a backlog. Improve the number on incense burner, get it to I think we've been favoring four in this run. I think we're still doing that. Makes sense to me. He's McKenzie, I think still 14 months. Magabomo show to you too. case of spook right now, but it does look like we have an awful, awful, awful lot of block. <laughs> uh, probably alright. What's the plan for the heart? I would like to uh, kill it. Using the cards, relics, 
potions. And uh, the way that my deck gets shuffled in the hard fight. We'll see what happens. Can't really plan for anything more than that. Take another compile driver. Hey, blender bread. Chaos or self repair? Chaos has been okay a couple of times. Self repair is not that great. Probably just self repair. No biased cog here. Or, well, we can biased cog, it's just a little bit weird. How to play. How to play Slay the Spire. Power pot? None of the other Act 3 bosses debuff us ever, so we don't have this problem in those two fights. I'll wait. There's a significant chance that I want that power pot for later in the run. So we're going to let Dead Branch do what it does for a little bit, and maybe that'll bail us out. And if it doesn't, we can uh, panic. <laughs> Basic basically panic, yeah. Basically, we can start to panic. But hopefully, Dead Branch will bail us out. I can also maybe just drop by this cog here. I don't really see why I couldn't with three dark orbs. Eh. Alright. I have a multicast too, like that should just kill every time. If it doesn't, it's gonna be weird. That was me, Funky Tree. Don't bring that shit into my chat, holy shit. Thank you. 
sure that I have any powers left. But hey, I do have two heat sinks in play now. have incense burner on the right number. We cannot loop. I think in this situation I prefer auto shield slightly. This is the right turn for biased cognition. Or what the fuck did I just. This is the right word for genetic algorithm. I didn't say that right either. I, I give up. It's over. We're done for. Make your peace with whatever power. Hey, Benji. Dark Orbs. Oh my god. I'm intangible this turn. I should probably channel Frost. I only have like two cold snaps to do that with. Pile driver into auto shields would be fine. I think this is fine too. I should play auto shields first there. That would have given me, yeah. Yeah, I definitely should have. It's all right though, we go Chaos, then we can play Capacitor finally. Doesn't work. I have 34 blocks, so I'm taking 10. Uh, there's a zap. I don't think I care about a zap. I could look for go for the eyes, but I might miss my cold snaps this cycle of the deck. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just take 10.
do we have a scrape? Uh, I needed to win somehow, so I picked up Dead Branch. Yeah. We want to end this fight with Ink Bottle on four. Everything is pretty under control now, at least. Equilibrium gets us there next turn. Perfect. I guess the only problem is we're not at full health, but generally perfect. Inchbearaboob. Why do I want Intense Burn on 4? I think it will probably be pretty obvious in about... Two minutes. Oh, he can't rest. Oh, right. Hmm. I'm missing 13 health. Maybe I wanted that self-repair that I gave away. <laughs> Membership card seems like an obvious pickup here. Not really that much help. So I could remove a card since we're trying to hit Biased Cog on turn one. <laughs> um, I could remove... Worst card is Defend, I guess. And I could swap my Block Pot for a Focus Pot. Worst card is Zap, maybe? It's my only lightning orb though. No, it's probably defend. Get rid of this lightning orb, I think, so that uh, multicast can hit the dark orb the next time through the deck, and also so that it loops. It stops my compile drivers from drawing as much, though. This is why incense burner is on the number it's on. Uh, I just lost my artifact charge, but this. Doesn't seem like a spot where that matters too much. We can still just play Bias Cog when we draw it. I have a kill on the shield this turn. Next turn? This turn. Neither. Wait. One, two. We go zap, compile driver, compile driver, and then we seek. For multicast, we have it. I'm not playing biased cog in that line. Sort of a weird line. Oh, so I'm like 21 damage short. No, I guess I have to play Biased Cog. So what else do I do? Can Genetic Algorithm... 
We can play Chaos. Let's do this. I guess just genetic algorithm? Multicast is on its way. I have Instance Burner on two right now, so when I draw Multicast, things should be pretty good, but I think I want to set myself up to be able to draw it. Do that. Don't play another card because of Ink Bottle. Don't want to draw a card right now with not enough energy. Since burn around three, it would be slightly better on four, maybe, but I don't see myself happily blocking this turn. 50 50? <laughs> Unlucky? That's 12 times four, weakens to nine times four. Four. I think I just have to take some damage here. It's really unlucky. Take 18. Yikes. If you have two biased cognitions, it's a lot easier to draw one before your artifact charge is gone. Makes sense to me. Honorable mention for Glacier. Look at this now, I think. Loop or heat sinks. Hmm. Not that easy to decide. Just loop, I think. Cool. So we get our larger biased cog. We get that and we grab old snap, I think. Unless we grab genetic algorithm. No, I think cold snap. Huh. 
Equally sure it would have been better than the unupgraded biased cog with how this played, but... Well, you don't know how it's going to play before you play it. That's the tricky thing in this game, isn't it? I look at another card? Currently I'm playing one, two, three, four, taking two. So this costs me two to look at another card. Doesn't really seem like it has much upside. Similarly, don't see much reason to play Go for the Eyes. All right. Just any extra stuff, really, would be great. Genetic algorithm keeps me safe next turn. It's not weakened and I'm vulnerable. Probably have to do this. I don't know about the zap. Problem is it draws me a card. Don't really want to draw a card that I need to play. Slightly too much potential downside. Consumes a little bit interesting. So yeah, this turn. This was the problem. Seven plus eight is twenty something. I think we're dead. Outs are like chaos hitting double frost orb or something. That's like my out. <laughs> Feels bad. We got one. Um unfortunately drawing the void kills us again. <laughs> right? 27, 33, plus 29. Not enough. Oof. Almost defect. Almost. Almost. 